one more thing. I've been telling Joe, when you kiss a guy on the cheek once, you're gay. If you kiss him twice, you're Italian. <laughs>
the one thing that I staff and I laugh at many times, this color, this is an eggplant. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Joe did that Grecian thing, so this always reminds me of his hair. So. Cindy McCarthy. I gotta say, Cindy's the one who did the heavy lifting, keeping this crew in line, trying to put this event together. If you could help Tank get up to the mic. He's a little skittish with the lights. So bring right up to the mic. And next we'll hear from Tank. Let's hear it from Tank. to show up every day for our special time. <laughs> I have a few suggestions <laughs> to make our time together more <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> Before grooming me, can you up the carrot allotment to 20? <laughs> Being the holiday season, <laughs> Do I have to wear that stupid Santa hat that Barb blocked with the big wheel I'll make a deal with you. I'll wear that hat if you wear the saddle. Now that will be a cool Christmas card. On our next riding trip, Skip the white helmet. <laughs> you embarrassed me. <laughs> you should have heard what the other horses and their owner were saying. <laughs> hmm. You know, that loaded pistol you carry in your pocket on your trail rides, <laughs> can you turn it around so when you fall off it won't fire in my direction? <laughs> If you're planning on another hip replacement, <laughs> how about a taller stepladder next time? <laughs> so you and the saddle can stay on my back and not on my belly. <laughs> Joe, you know, uh, I love you, Joe. Well, as much as you can when all they do is ride your ass all day. <laughs> But seriously, we've got to talk about your weight. <laughs> if you keep backing on the weight, you know I'm going to change my name from Tank to Troop Gary. <laughs> you know, Joe, like spaghetti westerns. But what I want to know is, why do I get stuck carrying the big meatball? <laughs> Do you eat every day? <laughs> sure, they're sugar free now, but my back is killing me. <laughs> For the last time, stop asking me if your butt looks big in your riding pants. <laughs> it does, but it's not the pants. <laughs> Here's a tip <laughs> ride a Clydesdale. <laughs> Make your butt look smaller. <laughs> Just a few more things. <laughs> well, I have the microphone, and uh, that bit thing isn't in my mouth. <laughs> hey, Joe. Now I mean, hey, Joe. 
I'm hungry. That's your job, isn't it? Speaking of hungry, you're kind of stingy with the carrots, just saying. Oh, yeah, that why the long face joke. <laughs> you love to tell it's really lame. Lame, get it? <laughs> all kidding aside, Joe, you know I'll carry you wherever and whenever you do want to go. Even into the sunset, 20 years from now. Congratulations, old pal. <laughs> Joe walked over and kissed everybody else. He didn't kiss them.
was by my side throughout the past 25 years, supporting me and encouraging me to always make it better. It's one of the chain of programs that he is most proud of. chamber, I knew that I had left him in good hands. After all, he has six women who can tell him what to do, and I'd like for the six women to come out now. All right. There's Sue, there's Buddy, there's Amy, there's Lisa, Amber, and Cindy. Give them a big hand.
Our next celebrity to address Joe is the wonderful barrister, Gary Lesser. First of all, shorter. All right. First of all, I'd like to say my esteemed fellow roasters and toasters, it is my honor and privilege to be in your company tonight. Yeah, yeah. We are all here united for one cause, one purpose, our love and our respect for <laughs> Joe. <laughs> when you think of Joe, I think of two simple things. Oh, by the way, I should preface my comments by saying I'm really not that funny. Uh, and my wife will back that up, so I'll be brief and mildly humorous. When I think of Joe, I think of two things. This is a man who loves his community, and this is a man who loves his country. It's already been touched upon, but Joe is one of those people who always does things for people. He helps businesses. He helps people all the time. He helps so many people. There are people who are helped by him, businesses that are helped by him, that don't even know it. Am I right? And he loves this country. He wants good things to happen. He kind of likes politics as well. <laughs> you know, just kind of a, a random question to everyone here tonight. Has anyone ever gotten an email joke from Joe? Yeah. <laughs> it's happened to me a couple of times, okay, many times over the years. I'm in a meeting, I look at my phone, I read the email, I laugh out loud, 10 people turn their head, and you really can't explain, you just have to delete the email. <laughs> um, Joe has been so helpful, and so kind to so many people, and he is a friend and a role model. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, Joe, because there's nothing that you wouldn't do for the people that you care about. And I'm going to close with this. Abraham Lincoln once said, the character is the tree, and reputation is the shadow. The shadow is what we see, but the tree is the real thing. Thank you, Joe. Love you. Gary Lesser. Uh, Gary was nice, so we'll follow that with Elliot Paul. Big fat crocodiles here for that last story. Did you all come here for a roast or a love feast? Joe, I love you, but I've been lying to you. For the last 14 years, I've been secretly tape recording our meetings. And more importantly, I've been tape recording our board meetings. Are there any board members here? Some of these things you may remember. In September of 2010, I 2000, excuse me, I joined the board. My very first meeting, Joe wasn't there. We said the Pledge of Allegiance, we sat down, and the chairman asked Joe for the chairman's report. Lo and behold, behind a curtain, in the corner of the room, I hear Joe say in a very loud voice, I am Joe immediately outlined his agenda for the coming year. I want to teach every last one of you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, shit, like a United States soldier. <laughs> he asked a couple of preliminary questions. So, how many of you would say you speak English fairly well, but with some difficulty? <laughs> Is pass his budget for the current year. And if you've ever been in a board meeting for Joe, Joe expects 
that everyone votes in favor. In fact, most of the chairman will tell you they don't ever ask and see if there's anybody opposed. It's usually unanimous. So Joe, of course, presented us with a budget that actually had a negative outcome at the end of the year, me being the good Democrat that I am. He said, all those in favor, say aye. Everybody raised their hand. He went on, I said, excuse me, can we, is there any opposition? Opposed? I raised my hand. And Joe said to me, what do you want? Speak up. Needless to say, once the laser beams went through my body, Joe said that he would amend his uh, budget for the following year at the next board meeting. He made his change in the budget. He came back with a new budget and said to me, Happy now, ass wife. <laughs> of course, it wasn't always easy with Joe. Being the only Democrat in the room, I had to put up with a lot of abuse from Joe. Then, of course, there was the time that he told me that my comment was stupid. Stupid, I said. What do you mean, stupid? He replied. Stupid. A person below normal intelligence. <laughs> well, I didn't take too kindly to Joe's comments. I mean, I'm a board member. I'm his boss, and I told him so. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, Joe is a great boss. His staff loves and adores him, but sometimes he loses his cool. There was this one time Cindy knocked on his door and asked if she could interrupt him, and Joe said, I thought I told you never to interrupt me while I'm working. <laughs> but he was always interested in new ideas, and when the internet became a big idea, somebody presented him with the idea that you can make money by selling advertising online, by, by, by advertising on our website, and Joe said, It's gone <laughs> The master of understatements. Everybody knows that Joe likes to be well-dressed. Always impeccable. I caught Joe once looking in the mirror when he was heard to say, I look good. I mean, really good. Hey, everyone! Come and see how good I look! Yeah, that was Joe. I stayed on the board for ten long years. I dropped off the board in 2010 after those ten years of the next board meeting. Somebody asked where I was, and Joe replied, That's Paulie. Oh, Paulie, don't see him no more. Oh, Paulie, you won't see him no more. 